Hello everyone! Now that we learned how to strike and pluck our string, we'll try to bow it on this tutorial. Today we'll start everything from scratch. Inside Modalis I make a new buffer and a new workspace. I save the file, so I won't forget later. This time we'll have to make a bidirectional string to allow us to bow it. Comment the objects. Set f my string make object by string. Our bow will then need to be a bidirectional object to access the horizontal and the vertical axis of the string with two masses. Set f my bow make object by two mass. To bow our string, we'll need to make four axes, two verticals and two horizontals, one for the bow and one for the string. Comment the axes. Set F my bow vertical axis. Make access my bow one that will access the trans one, which is the vertical direction. I'll copy paste and change vertical by horizontal, and this time we will access the trans zero. We have to do the same with the string axis. So I'll paste again and change all the bow by string. And access the string at point one. Copy paste and change vertical by horizontal. And Trans 1 by trans 0. Now let's create our bow connection. Comment bow connection. Make connection. Bow. First, we have to give it our two bow axes. My bow vertical axis and my bow horizontal axis. And the initial vertical position of the bowing object's axis will be at point zero one. We need to do the same with our string axes. My string vertical axis and my string horizontal axis but this time our initial vertical position will be at zero which means on the string. The four-dimensional controller containing coefficients which simulate the effect of our bow rosin. You can find all the values here in the Modalis online documentation. For now, let's stick to the standard bow interaction parameters. Quote, parenthesis, 
two, ten, five, four. Be brave, we are almost halfway. To be able to move the bow, we'll have to make two new axes. One horizontal and one vertical. Comment moving the bow. Set F. My bow horizontal motion. Make access to my bow at zero on the horizontal trans zero. Copy paste and change horizontal by vertical and trans zero by trans one. On the horizontal axis, we'll control the speed of our bow and on the vertical axis, the position. Make connection. Speed to my bow horizontal motion. We'll make an envelope controller right inside it. Make controller envelope in one dimension at zero seconds. Our speed will be at one meter by second. Then we'll be at one second to 4 meters by second and at 2 seconds we'll go back to 1 meter by second. Let's control the position of our bow. Make connection position to my bow vertical motion. Now the envelope controller Make controller envelope one Here we have to be very gentle with the string. If we push it too hard, it will scratch it. At zero seconds my bow will be at point zero one meter high which is one centimeter. Then at 0 0.1 second it will go down to minus 0 0.001 meter. So one millimeter down the string. 1.9 minus 0 0.001 I'll press the string for almost two seconds. 2.01 And in the end, the bow is going back on his first point. A good way to understand what's happening is to wrap those two envelope controllers into a variable and make a graph. We'll do that at the end of the course. Let's first finish our script. We are almost done. All we have to do is to make an output point. Make point output. Make access to my string. Add point 6 of the string on the horizontal trans 0. We'll run the script for three seconds. So we can hear the vibration of the string. Play. And... Voila! 
I know, I know, it's ugly and all this stuff. But now, what we'll have to do is to change the parameters of the string, the length, the materials, etc., and the way the bow is interacting with the string to make it sound better. Let's quickly wrap our controller in two variables so we can see them on a graph. I cut the speed envelope. Watch out the parentheses. Make a new variable. Set F. My speed controller. And paste our envelope. In my speed connection, I have to paste my speed controller. Now, I need to do the same with the position controller. Set F. My position controller. And paste our controller inside. Copy paste my position controller as a second parameter for the position connection. Let's check if everything works. OK. And we'll plug it into a new graph. Set F. Graph. Make plot. Plot value. Graph speed of the bow. My speed controller. And I copy paste, change speed by position. In the end of the script, I will write plot graph my bow controller. Let's see what happens. The speed curve is really clear, but the position is too small for us to see. So, let's comment the speed. And now we really see the interaction of our bow to the string. Here, we just finished the introduction to the connections. As you could see in the Modalis documentation, there are a lot of connections, and some doesn't even apply to a string. You can try to blow the string, but nothing will really happen. Before we move on, you should really play with the parameters and review the other tutorials. Try to change some elements here and there. This is the best way to understand how Modalis works. Don't forget that the documentation is your Bible. In the next tutorials, we'll finally leave our string and try to have fun with all sorts of tubes and membranes. So, stay tuned! Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can thumb up or subscribe. For any questions, suggestions or remarks, please feel free to leave a comment below. Goodbye!